Hey guys, welcome to Mind Your Maths. So in this video, we are going to see the properties of equality in an equation. Now, what do I mean by that? Is that in an equation, if the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, which is always the case, you can add any property or subtract any property or multiply with any property or divide by any property, but still, the equality of the equation will still be retained, right? So this is used in like uh, uh, in the algebra method. You will see lots of like x being added here and y being added there and a big number is divided by the, the whole thing here and the, the left hand side as well as the right hand side. So you will see a lot of things happening in an algebra, but all of them are happening based on this foundation right if you understand this better you will be able to solve any problem any algebra problems very easily whenever it comes to this kind of uh, the operations right so all these four operations are like done in an equation based on a, a constant value right constant value on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side now the value can be a number or uh, an alphabet or anything it can be but it should be done on both left hand side as well as on the right hand side so that the left hand side will always be equal to the right hand side and that that the equality will always be retained as well right so now let's see in a practical way so that you will understand more right so in the early like a primary three four five and all those things right so this is where uh, the students get more confused as well so so this is for those who are like getting confused how it is done like when adding a same value on the left side and as well as on the right side or subtracting or multiplying or dividing on both the sides right so this is going to give you an idea on how it is done right so now let's see this equation i have used the same equation with the simple numbers for all the four operations so that it is easy for you to compare right okay so now let's see 6 minus 2 is equals to uh, 7 minus 3 means this one is 4 6 minus 2 is 4 and 7 minus 3 is also 4 so 4 is equals to 4 right so that is how all the you know in, in all the tables that I have given I have used the same equation right so now let's add a particular value on left hand side as well as on the right hand side and see if the equality is maintained the e when i say equality which means the left hand side will always be equal to the right hand side the value the numbers might change but it should or the left hand side should always be equal to the right hand side now what do i mean by that let's see here let's add 4 on both side right plus 4 so i'm adding same number on both side right both side of the equation let's let's now see what is the value on both side 4 plus 6 is 10 10 minus 2 is 8 yes equals to 7 minus 3 is 4 4 plus 4 8 so see both the side it will be the same so the equality is maintained right so that's what i mean by that the number might change here if you before adding 4 it was 4 equal to 4 now after adding the 4 right it become 8 equal to 8 right so the left hand side will always be equal to the right hand side yeah so now let's come to the subtraction here so in the subtraction what we do we we subtract 2 from both the side minus 2 right okay so now let's see if the value changes before subtracting it was 4 equals to 4 now let's see what we are subtracting my the two from both the side left hand side as well as the right hand side so six minus two is four four minus two two yes two equals to seven minus three is four four minus two is two again so now here also the equality is maintained right two equals to two the left hand side is equal to the right hand side yeah so we have subtracted the same value from both the side now let's come to the multiplication when it comes to multiplication we have to take the whole left hand side and the whole right hand side as a single value right which means 
whenever you are multiplying you have to multiply the whole number so let's multiply using maybe 3 right so this side also 3 right okay so now for multiplying in any multiplication first step whenever you see the bracket what we need to do we should simplify the bracket first now to simplify this bracket you can do it in two ways first you can do 6 minus 2 4 and 4 times 3 is 12 that is one way of doing it right I'll, I'll just write it down right so 6 minus 2 is 4 so 3 times right 4 this one is 4 equals to this one is 4 7 minus 3 is 4 times this 3 right so now 3 times 4 is 12 4 times 3 is equals equals to 12 as well so the equality is maintained so this is one way of simplifying now another way of simplifying is that you can just to simplify this bracket you can multiply the value that is on the outside to the value that is inside both the values individually you have to multiply right same thing goes this side as well right same thing goes here as well so now if we follow this way what it how, how will it how will it become 3 times 6 is 18 3 times 2 is 6 again this is a minus right this one is a positive number this is a negative number so positive times negative is negative so 18 minus 6 right 3 times 2 is 6 now on the right side 3 times 7 21 yes 21 and 3 times 3 is 9 because there is a negative sign we put minus 9 right so now let's see 18 minus 6 yes 12 21 minus 9 yes 12 as well the so same answer doesn't matter which which method you follow to simplify you should always get the same answer right but you should follow the procedure carefully right this is how the mul in the multiplication the left hand side and the right hand side is or the, it's, it's always equal the equality is again retained now let's come to division so for the division as well we have to consider the whole number right the whole number the whole value rather the left hand side and the right hand side and now let's divide using 2 on both the side same number again right same number again right so now let's simplify the bracket first right so if you simplify the bracket what it becomes 6 minus 2 4 over 2 equals to 7 minus 3 4 over 2 right now if you simplify this further 1 times 2 is 2 2 times 2 is 4 1 times 2 is 2 2 times 2 is 4 so 2 equals to 2 again so now also the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so the equality is maintained right so when i say equality the original value might change means but it will change on both the side initially it was 4 but now it is 2 but both the side it is 2 here initially it was 4 now it is 12 but both the side it should be 12 now here initially it was 4 both the side and now after subtracting it became 2 on both the side but both the side is the same value same thing goes here as well right so this is the fundamental for any big algebra whenever you you add same property or you 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 put up you put you, you you do some operation based on any value it can be number it can be any you know any 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 variables any constants like x y a b c whatever you use in the algebra as long as you know you do the same thing on both the side the equality will always be retained yeah so and if you if the equality is not retained then the way that you have done is something wrong yeah so that is how you correct your uh, your your steps if if in case you have missed out something right well guys so that is what a, a, a tips video here so please watch and if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and also press the bell button to get the latest video notified you also please share the link with your friends yeah so that's all for this video thanks for watching